What's up you guys? This is Steffi aka In My Humble Opinion and welcome back to another reaction and review video. In today's video I'm going to be continuing with Pose Season 1 Episode 4 this time. The episode is entitled The Fever. I hope it's a good kind of fever. Continuing kind of like with my little 80s theme of shirts except for that one time I wore a Beyonce shirt. Today I am wearing a Michael Jackson Thriller shirt so I just wanted to point that out. Okay so let's just get right into this episode. Okay, so if it's a new year now, this means that we're in 1988. It's like the number of the devil. I believe these are the lowest scores that any member of the House of Abundance has ever received at any ball I can recall. I would say that Mother of the Year for Miss Electra is clearly threatened by such a chorus mm. shot. Oh wow, so if an individual member does bad, it affects the potential mother's run for mother of the year. Hmm. We all been there. Not you. You pass. Hmm. You know what happened to me last night? Oh no! Oh well, Stan is still with Angel. All the girls want big butts and hips. It's really feminine. Is your wife curvy? I mean, after the kids, yeah. I was kind of into it now that I think about it. Oh no. Bitch, why the fuck is you telling me stories about you and your man? <laughs> we ain't built all juicy like them other girls. We statues. But I also know we can do something about it. And I know who we gotta go see to do it. Oh god, are they gonna like try and get a procedure done or something? Ooh, this one was written by Janet Mock. Nice job, Mr. Richards. Oh, look at that. Now they're friends again. David always plays this game of being the last person to leave the class. The showcase is reserved for senior dancers. I'm just as good as them. Better. I don't think you're ready, but I'll allow your audience to make that determination when you perform. She gives him so many freaking chances, I swear. <laughs> Walk us through the whole process. Well, first I'll fill the syringe with silicone. Once you've decided what part of your body you'd like enhanced, I'll inject the syringe strategically to create a fuller look. Now you have to be very still for this part of the process. If you move, I could go too deep. And trust me, you don't want this in your blood. It can cause a ton of problems. <gasps> Remember Lisa? Oh my God, I'm getting so nervous for them. Happy. One half on each side of your body. Done. That'll be a thousand dollars. Oh, wow, the lengths that they go to, man. Oh no. What's wrong with him? Oh my god, I am so nervous. Please tell me he's not sick. Damon! Damon! You alright? Go home, Mr. Richards. Wait, no. You're burning up. Go home. Oh my god. Oh please my sir. god! God, please tell me he's just like sick with like the flu or something. Has anyone else in your class gotten sick? I don't think so. Oh my god. Damn it, have you been having sex? I don't want to talk about this. It's embarrassing. Save it. We're way past that. Just answer one question. When you were having intercourse, and I'm talking about actual sex, did you use a condom? <gasps> oh my god. No. Yes. Are you sure? The one time it came off. One time? That was kind of the fear I've heard before. It's like if you have sex, you're going to get the disease. <laughs> so it's like they never know. It's so sad. <laughs> Oh, oh god, I'm gonna start crying again. My mother came in here earlier today. She was asking me all this stuff about sex. Like, what Ricky and I had got up to and if we were having safe sex, like, why would she be asking me questions like that? Oh my god, he like literally doesn't know. She's scared you started converting, which is the first sign that you have the virus. Oh gosh. You mean AIDS? I'm sure you're gonna be okay. Okay, I want to see who this man is that takes care of Electra. To what do I owe the honor? Oh my gosh, Stapler from Law & Order SVU? You must want something now that I've had my way with you. My transsexualism operation. You know how I feel about that. Is that what they call it? Transsexualism operation? If you respect me so much, then why does it matter that it's there? It just does. I know what I like, but I can't explain why my dick gets hard knowing that yours is there. All I know is that I want it in the room. Now, maybe it's because I like the feeling of knowing that I'm getting away with something that no one else knows about. I just wanted there. Wow, interesting. You think I'm not aware that you'll trade me in for some young knockoff one day. That is why I must do this. 
For me, for my future, I will do this on my own. When was the last time you did anything on your own Fantastic Princess? Oh! Girl. I like that conversation though of at least Electra trying to reclaim her independence from her man. A man wants me just as I am, and so do I. Mm, okay, never mind. I take everything I just said uh, back. Categories were created so that we can live out our fantasies. We get to be who we want to be. And this is the image I want to project. That image is shattered and distorted. If you're going to serve a look, it must be suited to you. It must be streamlined and flattering. Most of all, it must be real. It's real as that wig on your head? Oh. These legs are real. These cheekbones are real. This whittled waist is real. <gasps> whittled waist. Girlfriend. She doesn't get to dictate my reality. I do. Damn, okay. This girl at least is trying to fight for what she wants to do and what she wants to do with her body, unlike Electra here. She's one to talk, but. Candy abundance. Damn, Candy really wants to do this to her body though. I have some mixed feelings though about how they shame these women into making them feel bad about what they want to do to their bodies. I understand why she would want to do it. I don't know, I don't think it's fair for the ball and for the house mother and the house to make her feel bad for just wanting to change something that she doesn't feel great about. And it's like interesting too that they have Electra being the one to be so hard on Candy about wanting to get implants for her butt when Electra here totally wants to get that trans operation. So, I don't know, it's a bit hypocritical on Electra's part as well. Wait a minute, children, I am mistaken, not new, refreshed. See, so what's the difference between refreshed and fake? I don't know. See, okay, so she went to Bangkok to, I'm assuming, get some sort of operation done, and Candy just went down the street to get some silicones implanted into her butt. I don't know, like, what's the difference? Is the difference if it's noticeable versus if it's not? <laughs> See, and this Aphrodite girl, she won, so... You have eclipsed me. Never. Your Electra Abundance. The blueprint. Mm. An eternal icon. Even she knows her icons. place. Even icons get on. Mm. That's what I admire. That line. You. It's like I finally felt whole. Wow. Really. I don't feel incomplete. I just feel inconvenient. Mm. I know he will leave me in the streets if I have it. But I'm oh. tired of living in this in-between for him. Why? <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, I feel so bad. You want this. You're being real. I really do. I can see what it's done for you. I want that. Then go and get it. How lucky are we? We create ourselves. Shit, we are the real dream girls. <laughs> Damn. Love that. Okay, are you negative? <laughs> you know that big HIV. Can you answer the question? Oh shit. I'm not sure. I don't think so. <gasps> it means I've never been tested. Oh my god. We've had sex. How many people have you slept with? I don't know, like 50? 50? 50? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. You should have told me. And if I had, what would it have changed? I like how Blanca's listening in on this conversation. You should have heard them talking like not knowing it's an okay thing. Oh my. I stopped getting tested. I think out of fear though for him. I Just doesn't want to know. I know that Ronald Reagan will not say the word AIDS. Health insurance will not cover any treatments. The world wants us dead. This is very eye-opening for me because I think I take for granted considering that, you know, I was born in 93. I consider myself still fairly young. I wasn't of a conscious age where the conversation about AIDS was considered taboo. So I think it's interesting to hear how during this time a sitting president wouldn't even utter the words AIDS and in doing so not addressing that many 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 people are suffering because of this illness. We are all gonna get tested and we are all gonna get through this together. Oh I'm scared for them. Wow. They did a really good job with like portraying the fear that a lot of these people felt during this AIDS epidemic. And I'm glad you guys could join me today. Oh, is he going to give them a, a talk? We are going to get tested for HIV. He's so like such the dad this of this entire group, too. I prefer the ladies, but I'm an equal opportunity lover. 
Ain't nothing oh. wrong with that. No. Sexual I, fluidity, I, they, wow. I have friends who have been diagnosed and are just fine. And then I have friends who dropped dead because they didn't know they had it. Oh shit. Once it's in. Is this safe? Beggars can't be choosers. Come on. Oh my gosh, really? You want it that badly? Uh, Miss Orlando is here to make things right. Oh. Miss Orlando? I'm a little scared. <laughs> a little worried. Hi. Go down to Honduras and get the same shit for pennies. The exact same. It is some differences. Oh, don't do it, no Candy. Millions. Don't do it. I got cash. No, okay. Candy. No, no, no. Oh, oh, Candy time. girl. Okay. What? You want to go first? I don't want to go at all. Angel, mm -hmm. please don't do uh, this. I'm going to skip today. See how it goes with you. Oh, my God. Oh, on, I can't watch this. There. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to make you pretty. Oh. But there's power in knowing. Remember that. Yeah. Mm, there's power in knowing. Wow, this is truly like groundbreaking television, man. The basketball question i'm wondering if the beauty standard towards the late 80s started to just shift towards more like voluptuous women or if people within the trans community they just want to be more voluptuous whether or not that is the beauty standard in general being more curvy means that you're more passing i don't know so if you know the answer to that let me know in the comment section below how do i look good you look good girl you look good. Oh ah, shit, I'm scared. Oh my god, she's gonna like pass out. I'll get some rest after I snag this trophy, okay? Oh no! Oh my god! She's gonna pass out. She's gonna pass out. They like did something wrong at this procedure. Oh my god, I'm so scared. She's gonna like pass out. I'm so scared. Oh fuck. Oh my god, it's happening. Well, she did. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like, how different it is to live this life when you look like you, have your money. Mm, access. I, I am who I am because I know who I am and I refuse to ever let anyone ever tell me otherwise. And I still feel pain when I look in the mirror and see the body staring back at me. What part? You know what part. Mm. But I thought no one is going to tell me who I am or what I want. I'm having that procedure done. There you go, girl. Did you shoot your law with your wife earlier? No room for seconds with your mistress? Uh-oh. <laughs> I was an experiment to you. No, don't think you're an experiment. Mm -hmm. How come the last time when we was fooling around and it was taking you some time to get hard, you reached around and played in my dick? I did and then you was like a rock. I did that for you. Uh, I could tell you were getting turned on. I, yeah. I, I thought you would like it. I told you I don't like that. Are you gay? No! I'm not gay. Have you been with men before? No, I've never been with men. I'm not interested in that. Not at all. This conversation, I just man. Like Would you still want me if I had the sex change? I want you to do what you want, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't care. I, wow, this is, is like so you interesting. When I was in college, I went, I went to a porno bookstore. There was one section of magazines off to the side, and they were wrapped up in brown paper, but I could still see the title. That is a horrible wig for Evan Peters. Oh. <laughs> I'm a pornographic magazine. Come to life. It's not fair. That's not what I said. Am I real to you at all? Yes, you are more than real to me. Get out of my apartment. Get out! Oh my, it took a turn so suddenly. Damon, your HIV exam came back negative. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Happy for him. But there's four of them. One of them has to be positive. I feel like it. Watch it be that guy. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm scared. Well, they're playing like happy music. I'm negative. <sighs> 28. Oh, hey, I'll be right back. Oh shit, the happy music ended. You have to run the test again. It could be a false positive. I can assure you we ran it twice. The results were the same. You're HIV positive. I'm sorry. I knew one of them. One of them had to. Oh. This is the moment that I dread it most. Oh, I feel for him, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so. Oh. I gotta pull myself together before I go back out to those boys. I gotta pull myself together. Could you, oh. Could I just have a minute, please, oh. alone? Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so bad. Oh. 
Oh, he's gonna lie. It was negative. Uh, I'm negative. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, no, him and Blanca are positive. Damon is getting his shot. All of y'all are healthy. Life isn't always good, but right now in this moment, it's good. Pray tell, tell her. <laughs> I like how she just had that moment too, I but. I lied about my result. Mom and dad are sick. Oh. They don't know shit about this thing yet, which means they don't know if it's incurable yet. Baby, they don't want to cure it. Of course they do. Somebody does. Julia Roberts from The Normal Heart does. We're gonna take care of each other and we are gonna find every treatment and drug. Damn, life was again. rough in the <laughs> late 80s for them. Jeez. I've always had him by my side taking care of me. I've been with him for 10 years. Do you know what I'm giving up to go through this? That's so sad. She has to like lose a relationship in the process of trying to gain her own sense of self. a decision to choose yourself. Mm. You will feel free. She is a true ally. <laughs> God, I hope this like goes well for her. <laughs> Electra abundance. <laughs> oh, so she went to the other lady. Okay, well. I love how we've seen this choreography before. My thing always when it comes to like dance it portrayed in TV is characters suddenly doing choreography we've never seen. Nice continuity. <gasps> oh no! Oh shit, girl! He's doing so well, oh my gosh. Yes. See, this is what happens when you give people a freaking chance! Oh! <laughs> Did it! Oh. oh my god. What the hell? Every freaking episode of Pose is gonna like end with me crying. <laughs> Alright, and some post-show thoughts. Wow, this was truly such a learning episode for me. I've truly never seen a television episode that covered so many diverse struggles that people within the trans community and also the gay community were experiencing during this period of time. It was really, really eye-opening. My heart broke for a multitude of reasons while watching this, whether it was the heartbreak of Candy, Electra, and Angel from not feeling happy with their appearance and not feeling fed feminine enough and not feeling like they were just woman enough and the lengths that they would go to in order to feel satisfied physically with themselves. Personally, for me, it's like as long as that's what you genuinely want to do and that's what makes you happy, then go for it. I mean, of course, I was a little hesitant when Candy was going to that lady that she went to towards the end because I was like, oh, this lady doesn't look like she knows what she's doing and it doesn't look like this is like a very safe environment and the results look a bit sketchy, but if it's safe, and you can financially afford it and it's what's gonna make you happy then go for it but you know no matter what the operation or the treatment was from getting silicones implanted or going through the process of starting the transsexual operation it was just really tough to watch at times because it's just what a hard experience what a hard life that is to lead one of the standout scenes for me that I've never personally seen before was when they showed Electra taping I've never seen that before I would imagine, considering that Janet Mock was the person who wrote this, that must have been a very personal experience for her to have because as far as I know, she's been fairly open about her journey as a trans woman. I think she's expressed going through very similar sentiments that a lot of these characters are feeling. So that's kind of like a full crazy circle moment for her as well. I can't imagine. I don't want to imagine, but I can't imagine how hard emotionally that is. And then for your body to have to go through that is so hard. So these women have a lot of inner strength and courage to just wake up every day and live the lives that they have. I also really like that scene between Stan and Angel. Again, a lot of what happened and occurred in this episode. I've never, you know, I'm not familiar with that experience and I've never seen anything like it on TV. And I've definitely never witnessed a conversation like that before. Hearing Stan's backstory about how when he went to college, he went to that part of the magazine rack and that kind of aroused him. And now Angel's feeling some sort of way about 
that because she's not sure if he's just into her because that's some sort of kink to him or if he actually genuinely has feelings for her. I, I keep sounding like a broken record, but I've just never seen anything like this before. Moving on to the getting tested for AIDS storyline with Pray Tell and Damon and Ricky and I always forget that other guy. He's really funny, but that other guy, I think that's so amazing that they're showing a scene of these four men actively going to get tested. This show is doing a lot in terms of raising awareness for the trans community experience and the gay experience, especially during the height of the AIDS epidemic in the late 80s. So I thought that was a really powerful scene. And even though it didn't end up with the best results for everyone, that was still necessary and important for the show to have a scene like that for their characters. Kind of like what I was saying during the reaction portion, I think this show is doing a really great job with evoking the sense of fear that a lot of the gay men and the people who are part of the trans community felt about the AIDS epidemic at this time. Because as me watching this, like in 2018, even though like, yeah, this is a show, but this is actually something that happened, I feel great, genuine concern for them. So they're doing a really great job of evoking that sense of fear and uncertainty about one's future and that, you know, they are truly living on borrowed time. This episode, but this show in general is such a eye-opening experience, truly. It's just Alright, my question for you guys is, I want to know what are your guys' thoughts on the scenes that depicted the ball community really humiliating these women whenever they would try and physically fix themselves up? I felt so bad for Candy in that scene when she straight up got booed and mocked and was laughed at. I was also so confused too, like what is the difference between when Candy does it versus when someone, I'm forgetting her name, I think her name was Aphrodite, and she came back after her transsexual operation. Like, what are your guys' opinions on that. I'm just really curious to know because gosh, I just, I had so many mixed feelings because on the one hand, like I want to support Candy for just like doing whatever she wants to do with her body as long as it's her actively wanting to do it. And I get where the ball community is coming from too because they just want to support the people who are accentuating what they already have instead of trying to completely do themselves over to the point where they look fake. But like, where do you draw the line there? So I just want to know what were your guys' thoughts on that whole discussion that was brought up in this episode. And all right, that's about it for me in this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on this particular episode of Pose. As always, I'm very keen to hear what you guys have to say. So yeah, let me know. Let's start a conversation. And as always, everything I said, which is my own personal thoughts and all of my humble opinion, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.